it's our anniversary, darling, but what can I do? What do you mean, what can I I'm do? I'm lumbered. You're lumbered, like last week and the week well, before. I've been here a couple of hours already. Well, make sure you're home in less than another couple of hours. I'll be home as soon as I can. Honest. You better be. Look, I'll phone you back on the way to the yard. Is that it, then? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Are you... Are you sure about this? No. Come on, I want to check out my new abode. Could have been lilies, you know. Or a reef. So, <laughs> am I going home in style or what? All right, yeah. Oh, we are. lovely. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, mate. Our pump's backed up again. Heard I can't use this. Well, that's your responsibility. I was here on schedule. I don't intend to lose out on this, you know. Yeah. Okay, look, bill us as usual. Okay? dropped out. Decided to buy another property. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Nice. You and the rest of the lads off on a beano to Boulogne for a piss-up and God knows what else. I'd like to know what the other wives think about it. I know what I think about it. You want to know what I think about it? Surprise me, Sandra. Shock me with the revelation that you think that it's a great idea and that I deserve a little break from the trials that beset my every waking moment. Yes, very droll, John, but that still doesn't explain why you can't take wives with you. Those that would like a little relief from kids and domestic slavery, that is. It's not my decision, is it? If you want to complain about it, talk to Sickler. He's the self-appointed secretary and treasurer of the Blackwall Fire Station Twinning Committee. What? Oh, good God, only an idiot like him could come up with a title like that. Well, at least you'll have that satisfaction. What satisfaction? With him organising it, probably really will be a bloody fireman's holiday. Here are a couple of interesting things to look out for in the street. Chemists display a green neon cross. A chemist's shop in French is une pharmacie. La une pharmacie. Pharmacy. And chemists can usually treat minor injuries and ailments for you on the spot. Ooh. Also, look out for a red sign, shaped a bit like a carrot, with both ends pointed. This indicates the French word lessons. tabac, oh, a mais shop, oui, mon chéri. A cafe, Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> licensed to sell cigarettes and tobacco. The sign often has... Time the restaurant's put for, darling, but... Well, that's something. If I don't get back to the yard and get the mix cleaned out, it's going to set hard on me. You know the aggro that causes. It's five o'clock already. I know. Look, phone them up and ask them to move it on. By an hour a day a well, year. say an hour. OK, you and your bloody cement. He sacked you. That's right. What? Blah, blah, blah. 
Oh. <laughs> I want a sack. There's a sack. Cup of coffee. Coffee cup. Sorry. I mean, well, surely you have recourse to make a claim for unfair dismissal or something like that. Yes, something like that. Did he say it was because of his uh, accident with the bottle of spiked booze? No, of course not. He may be lying, despicable and immature, but he's not stupid. I'm sorry, Ellen. I really am. I, I feel as if I'm to blame for that. Don't. The it has little or nothing to do with you. To think that God... <sighs> oh, well. Sod it. Have we got anything stronger to drink around here? Well, there's uh, still some of that Papa's kickstart left if you really want to purge the past. Malcolm, if you continue to persist like this, I could get used to you. And that wouldn't suit my life's game plan at all. Things change. I am sick and tired of this, this interference in my affairs. Affairs? Life, you know what I mean. Am I interfering? Is that what you're saying, that I am interfering? The fact that I have a date with someone is none of your business. Charlie! Charlie! So tell that to the Haringey Mafia. You think you're getting interference? I am surrounded. I'm in the middle of a Greek Cypriot conspiracy scrum down. A what? It's a rugby term. Oh, I didn't know you were interested in rugby. I'm not. What's that got to do with it? Well, nothing. If you ignore the macho illusions. Oh, give me a break, will you, Ariadne? We are both victims in this. You know what they're like. Your family, my family, hooked into this tradition nonsense. It's obviously important to them. Right. So what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? What are they doing here? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I said they could call a family meeting here. Oh, Panayamu! Thanks a lot for looking after me. This is awesome. Thanks, it's appreciated. It's my pleasure. Don't mention it. Poor little Mike. What with losing his father and all that. I had a visit from one of them mosaic social bods while she was in hospital, talking about putting Damien into care. Got her short shrift, I'm telling you. Good. Anyway, she said she's coming back. See Marion, you know. Uh, well, let's say you and me keep this between us for now. Yeah, right. Okay, that's a good thing. Come on in. Let's get you inside. Bring him all up. Oh, it's Damien. <laughs> Thank you. I'll leave it out, Marion. I'm supposed to be a hardened firefighter. Mama! Listen, you and Kelly must come round to dinner as soon as we're sort of settled in, like. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. Has Damien got a pushchair? Yeah. Can I borrow his pram then? Nice break for you away from your routine for a day at least, winter. Sure, I guess so. There's something else as well. Oh, yes. What? Me, you, and the kids might be going to Disney World in Florida. What? How? <laughs> well, the lads at the station want to treat Jamie to a, well, you know, a once in a lifetime holiday.
What's that? Well, it ain't a submarine, is it? Another prank. Kelly's having a baby, George, not a bloody litter. Where is she? She's gone shopping. She left me a note. You got your own key now? It's second hand. So? Well, I don't want my grandchild schlepped about in a used pram. A collection of used prams. It's not for my kid. I've been made pram marshal down at the station for a charity run we're organising. Charity begins at home, George, and that includes room to move. Give us a break, Lil. Well, he doesn't have to know the reasons why, does he? But he will, won't he? Well, you know, he's... We're going on holiday, yeah. And he'll know the reason why. He's nine years old and he's bright. How can he miss it? Because... And I've had a chat with the lads about this. He doesn't actually have to be present at the charity do. We're going to use photos. That's no guarantee. There's bound to be publicity. The local press. And the brigade's PR people will latch on to it. Well, we'll keep him away from the papers. You're going to keep him away from his mates at school too? Oh, come on, Laura. They know he's sick. They must have seen him have an attack. They don't know it's highly unlikely he'll reach adolescence. They don't know that, do they? Someone will tell him. You know how thoughtlessly cruel some kids can be. <sighs> Maybe we are making a mistake in not telling him. Kids are always more aware than we give them credit for. I just can't bear the thought that you'll think he's some kind of freak. Oh, come on, love. I'm sorry, it's just... Come on, love, it's OK. We'll work this out. All I know is I want him to have this holiday. I want so badly for him to have something. I made you a nice cup of tea, George. I'll tell them. Do you know, I me and you should get on better. We really should. I mean, we've both got Kelly's interests at heart, haven't we? Eh? She's young. She needs a real man like you. Her dad, oh, he's OK as a provider. But a woman has other needs, George. Do you know what I mean? When I was pregnant, well, me and him couldn't, you know. Well, I didn't really feel like it at the time. But I expect Kelly will be the same. It must have been very frustrating for her dad at the time. I mean, him being a bit like you. Well, younger, of course. But do you know what I mean? Kelly be home soon, won't she? What's the time? No, she'll be ages yet. She's gone to Brain Cross with Tracy. Inseparable once they're together, aren't they? I've got to see a man about a pram. What? George? You've got to wait for her to come back. That listen, Ariadne's already got a boyfriend. It's not right. It's not one of us. A foreigner? Oh, mum, he's English. It's not right. Is he a businessman? Is he a man of substance? Has he got anything? And a man must also have a good future. A business, a career. A man like Nick it must be resolved here with the family. It's not right. Look, Uncle Alexis, why don't you stop saying it's not right? Well, it's not right. Oh, Jesus. Nico, don't blaspheme. Soon it's to be late for, for Adriani with children. She should oh. get married. And you, my son, you as well. Not to a stranger. Of whom you know nothing about? She's the one who's going to marry him. Oh, it's not right. And if Ariadne chooses not to respect our feelings, then I think great Aunt Ophelia should agree to chaperone her. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yes! You're joking! This is 1999! This is unreal. <laughs> Can mm. Can I ask you something? Did the duvet move for me too? Yeah. Mm. Seriously. What? Well, you're not. You're not moving in with me because that's a pity. No, because I'm. 
sort of hopeless on my own, are you? To think I thought that's the reason you took me in. I'm not too happy with the situation. I mean, me's still on probation, and the only bird in the watch having passed her exams. Makes me look like a right wally, doesn't it? I'm as good as she is. Right, Belly. Look me, I'm not me. Do what? Good morning, Gav. Hi. I wouldn't worry about it. Leaves you the way clear with Helen, doesn't it? Well, I guess it does in a way. But she's very upset. Getting the sack can be very traumatic. Beats being maimed in a traffic accident. What a refreshing perspective on life you have, Kate. <laughs> a pass at you, your mother in law. This ain't funny, Kev. She's always about. Could get very dodgy, you know. Have to preserve your precious bodily fluids, eh, George? What? Never mind. Listen, don't tell the lads. Are you kidding? I can't wait. Kev. Hey, guess what? Kev. George has got a bit on the side. Then the idea is the route takes in a dozen pubs. And each team has to have the card stamped by the landlord. So if you could have a word with your local, it'd be Andy. Yeah, no problem. Cheers, Paul. Uh, any news about the prosecution on that hotel shop? Only that it's proceeding. It'll be months before it gets to court. Blatant disregard for fire regulations. Bloody miracle no one died. Someone in charge of that hotel should do time, you know. Except no one will. Relatively small fine and a rap on the knuckles is the most we can expect. Mm. I'm going to need a hand with this lot, John. All right. Let me show you. Look, I don't need some bird to show me how to do my job, thank you very much. Beg your pardon? I think just because you happen to be off probation and I haven't yet, you can start bossing me about and telling me what to do. You just hold it right there. Sod you! Come on, children, temper, temper. Get a bloody move on, Colin! We've got people dying here! <laughs> I wouldn't call sick no people. I'm an actor. Yeah, is it true what I hear, George? What's that? Well, that Kelly's mum's got her claim on you as her in-house toy boy. <laughs> He's told you. He's told everybody. <laughs> well, it's Stuart Mackenzie's little kid, Jamie. Yeah, Empire Richard. of the Mini Autobus yeah. pour la journée, yes? We oui, certainly. Are a mini bus, right? Uh, get some quotes. La insurance for the same. Le A A A le R A C. 
Bien sûr. It means, of course, being sure. I know that. We take in packed lunches. Well, we're planning on Saturday. Yeah, we've got some volunteer nurses from Great Ormond Street involved, and the wives and girlfriends are mucking in, so. Yeah, well, can you all watch make it or what? A chaperone? I know. It's the dark ages. They've all watched too many Godfather movies. Yeah, but that's Sicilian tradition, isn't it? There's a disturbing crossover psyche in my family. Only difference is my lot don't carry shotguns. No, I'm not sure about all of them. Order. Order. Oh, sick note's called another meeting. No, he's driving me crazy. I can't even have a go at him since it was me that suggested the bloody trip. And you should hear the cover stories I'm having to tell area staff. Now, you requested that I should be your organiser and treasurer. It was my understanding, mon uh, comprende, que vous... Get on this loom, will ya? What's it keep rabbit on with this frog talk for? So the sub will be impressed. Oh, come on. Give him a chance. That's right. Stop it, all of you. You ought to be ashamed. It's for your benefit he's going to all this trouble. And me. Sula va pa. So what, mate? She doesn't like it. That's right. Merci bien, Margaret. I think I can manage. So what's your role in all this then, Max? I'm Sick Notes PA on the French Connection, aren't I? Yes, Margaret has kindly volunteered. I want to know why you keep coming out with all these frog lingo. I mean, what's all that about? I won't try to explain the implications of us joining the European community to someone of your subterranean mental ability, Colin. Mm. But yeah. suffice it to say that it is simply a common courtesy to at least try to speak the language of the host nation that one is a guest in. So where'd you pick up the pale front say then, Maggie? What do you know about Maggie? Yeah. You've been a right little jet setter in a time, haven't you, Max? My daughter works for this big airline. Gets me and Albert a lot of cheap tickets, you know. Well, there are very few places on the planet that Maggie hasn't visited. I bet she hasn't been to Tibet. Have, as a matter of fact. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the Chinese have spoilt it all for the locals now. Dalai Lama's in exile. Right upset he is. Pardonnez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Does anyone mind if we kindly get on with the business at hand? OK, then get on with it. Destination? Boulogne. <laughs> Objective, entente cordiale with our French colleagues. The opportunity to form an everlasting bond of mutual friendship between our two great countries. A chance to endorse the new mood of optimism and perestroika that is sweeping the globe. To harmonise, accommodate, subscribe and, yes, validate our commitment to peace and prosperous union between all fire brigades and the first four nations throughout the world community. then as a summary of the itinerary as I see it. If anyone has any questions at this point, I shall be pleased to answer. No, anyone? no, that's... No. Anyone? No, no, no. Well, loath as we all are to interrupt your flow signal, I'd like, if no one objects, to spend what little time we have left before the governor slings us out discussing the charity run for Eagles Kid on Saturday. All, right. all in favour say aye. 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 Excuse me, pardonnez-moi, but Margaret here is still taking the minutes and we have not as yet discussed the financial aspects of the trip. You've been discussing it for bloody oh, hours. Come on, oh, come on, get real. Yeah. Organising the trip to Florida for what? Jamie is a oh, lot yeah. more important than our shindig across the channel. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that is fair enough. As long as you all realise that more meetings will have to be convened. Bailiff. Special service, Corn Haulage Company, Mill Street. Yeah. No 
Mill Street. Third left on the ice street, Bailey. Yeah, I know, it's up. What was all that about? What? That business on the phone with your mum. Um, it's that business with my sister's geezer. Bastard. What's that then? Well, apparently he's going round a man and telling everybody it was you and me that done him and his mate over. And? Well, don't be surprised if we get a visit from the old Bill. Oh, that's bloody charming, eh? Fire Brigade, Mr. Coyne, can you hear me? Are you able to talk? Yes. Don't worry, we're going to get you out, but it might take a while, we've got things to organise. So stay calm and conserve your strength, all right? We'll get you out as soon as we Found can. Found some macro, Scarf. Great. Hang in there. Look, my son, Jamie, was, he's, what's he? He's fine. It was him that called us. Well, he called your wife on the lorry phone and she called us. She's here, in fact. As soon as we get things fixed up, you can talk to her, all right? He's going to be all right, isn't he? Well, we'll do our best to ensure that he is, love. You're a smart young man, getting us here so quick. What's your name? Jamie. What's happened to me, Dad? John, well, he's just got stuck inside the drum. Don't worry, we'll get him out. Uh, look, Mrs. Coyne, it's up to you, but, um, well, this must be a bit of a shock for you. Why don't you and the boy go and wait in the... Uh, what is that? An office? Yes, yes. Yeah, well, we'll try and get some tea made. Uh, I think it'd be best if you wait in there. We can call someone, a relative, if you want someone here No, to... no, I, I wouldn't want to worry. I mean, I'll... Well, we'll, we'll just... You fix up that tea and uh, I'll explain to the gavel. Right? John, we need the RTA gear and you better order the ventilating equipment, OK? Right, I'll bring the lorry around the back. We'll use it as a working platform. Right, right you get the oxygen and the motor. Around the back, we'll be using the platform. We've got to the clean area around there. It's your business, is it? This cement and that. One man band. Yeah. Well, not for long. As as you'll live. How old is he? Yeah, ten. He's eight. eight. See what I mean? Before you know it, he'll be running the firm, telling you what to do. I'd settle for that. Just put the mask on him, huh? Yeah, right. Okay, you got a deal. Need some help. It was our 10th wedding anniversary yesterday. Really? That's nice. We went out for dinner. I love eating out. Yes. We go out every year on our anniversary. 
We were late. Sorry? For the dinner at the restaurant. Oh. That's why this happened. This? What, the accident? He wanted to finish cleaning the drum, but I was worried about getting to the restaurant on time. That's not so, love. Whenever there's an accident, people usually try and blame themselves. You mustn't think like that. Are you married? No. I'm beginning to think I'm more your career woman. I like being married. He is going to be all right, isn't he? Right, let's get those ladders off the roof. Right, Chuck. Look. Easy, kid. That's got it. Hang on, let me wedge it in. Let's take it. Last one, let's see. There's no one, baby. Shine a light over here. That's fair. Keep going. They're bringing him out. Come on. Come on, let's go. Stay here all day talking to you. I've got to get my makeup on. You know, I still try. Right, come on. Down. Oh, for the right crap. Some people might say you're in character, George. Who's that? Not me. I wouldn't say that. He looks really lovely. I could eat him all night. Mum. What's that for? Sabotage. Self-defence. Yeah, careful what you're doing with that. Where do you want me to put it? Put it underneath then. Yeah, right, lads, now li listen up. Now, you all know the rules. You get your card stamped by the landlord of the 12 pubs on the route. The winners get the crate of booze donated by said landlords. Of course, 
We all know how much you hate to drink. Oh. Well, it's for charity, Gav, we'll manage. Yeah. Just give up, Gav. Right, turn it up, I don't want to be a bloody... I mean, would not... Can't for I be... God's sake, does it really matter, John? I mean, nobody is going to know, least of all care. Wouldn't you be more at home wearing Ellen's costume? <laughs> right, come on, come on, everyone. Let's get the show on the road. Line up, line up. We're running late as it is. Why are you riding the rickshaw? Because it's my rickshaw. You're my coolies. Coolies, more like. Quite. Anyway, how come you're the one that gets to be pushed? I think my medical record might answer that one, mon chéri. L.A. Don't forget, Bob stamped outside pump. Right, get ready. Five, four, Oi. three, two, me, one, go! <laughs> looking you ask when you want to know the time oh more disney characters we're looking for the officer in charge of blue watch keep calling points on the job jeffer it's not allowed till we're halfway out okay jeff how many have you stamped in so far? Six. Cheers, mate. It'll slow him down a bit. That's one. Yes! <laughs> Station officer. Yes, how can I help? Uh, Detective Sergeant Shaw. Uh, this is my colleague DC Peterson. Uh, have a word, can we, sir? Yeah. Come on, come on. Allez! Mais plein! On y va! 
Vite, vite, vite Allez, allez You, he fell, you strong man Now come on Come on Yeah, come on, love You shouldn't get upset You're supposed to be enjoying yourself Um, um, it's just that you so generous and so lovely, you know. You're right. <laughs> Come on, give us your money. Long in a good cause. Cystic fibrosis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They should be back any minute now, Maggie. How are we doing? Well, I think I've done enough. What do you think? Looks great. We're going to need a table to count the contributions. I better sort one out. What are them two after? Promotion, I expect. Sure, but as your station officer, you're entitled to ask him to be there. Nah, thanks, Cal. It's no problem, is it, George? No, no problem, then. Okay, for sure. I'll send them to the general office. You can talk to them there. I expect you'll want to change first. Bastards. You know you got to do it, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon. You all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah? Yeah, good. Very fun, hasn't it? I've really quite enjoyed it. Yeah, there are lots of things about this job that give me satisfaction, which is more than can be said for other areas of my life. It's a challenge, that's the thing. Which reminds me, you are coming down for the survival course this weekend, aren't you? No, I don't think so. Sorry, but but I thought you said... Your wife left you, right, Jeff? Well, she met someone else. I bet he didn't take her on perilous and exhausting rock climbing expeditions and endless treks across the countryside, did he? It was a sales rep. What could she expect? You're not listening to me. Has it occurred to you that I'm a woman? 
It's just possible the idea of spending the weekend with a bunch of near neo fascists playing boys' own soldiers, leaping about the woods, eating grass and worms and playing with sticks. Do you really think I enjoy that sort of stuff? I mean, is that how you see me? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, what is it with you? Some kind of hang up? Let's yodel at each other off the cliff face. I'm sorry. I was under the impression that you'd like, well, the same things as me. No, I don't, actually. Not to the extent you like them. You're too blind to notice. I'm sorry, I really am. This is a serious matter. Do you think at least you could remove the head? Well, don't look at me. I'm too young to make a decision. OK, lads. Let's cut the comedy routine, shall we? Or do you want to do this down the station? You got any witnesses? Could be. Crap. If you did, we'd be down the station now. Well, it can be arranged. Look, lads. Don't give me a hard time. We have had an official complaint, and we're obliged to investigate it. This boyfriend of your sister's has made a statement claiming that on Friday, that was the second of this month, at approximately 10.30 p.m., you and your mate here severely assaulted him and his oppo. Is there any truth in his allegations? Simple. None at all. Look, I'm not going to tell you I like the bloke, because I don't. He gives my sister a hard time. We've had our run-ins. So what? That's the way families can be. And I know you know my old man's doing a bit of bird. So the way you lot figure it, that puts me in a frame, right? Not so. Neither of you have got form. And we respect what you do for a living. And for the community. But I need to know where you were that night. If only for elimination purposes. Well, we went over the road to have a drink with some of the watch, which can be verified. Then we went down to my local and stayed rabbiting with the governor and his missus and some other people, which can also be verified. Yeah, and we stayed there till closing time. So that gives us all the witnesses we need to put us somewhere else at the time you say this assault took place. Simple. What's that? You're having a charity do, aren't you? Nice one. Gather round. Here are the grand totals. OK, right, quiet down, quiet down. Here it is, Maggie. The amount collected for the Jamie McKenzie Holiday of a Lifetime Appeal Fund is, with local pledges from traders, one thousand two hundred thirty-six pounds and ninety-three pence. Whoa! Yeah. Right. Now I know we were aiming for nearer two thousand, but don't worry because Maggie here has something to tell you, Maggie. Well, the thing is, as some of you already know, my daughter works for this big airline. Anyway, I was telling her what we were doing for Rico and Laura's boy. And she had a word with her governor. And well, the thing is, the company said that they will supply free return tickets for Jamie, his brother, and their mum and dad. Which means that if mum holds on to the purse strings, <laughs> it means that there'll be enough left over in the kitty to pay for accommodation and expenses. Oh. 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 Oh.